Today, I want to tell you about a simple way to get all the entertainment you love without the hassle. DirecTV Stream brings your live TV and on-demand favorites together like never before, which means you can watch your favorite sports, movies, and shows all in one place. And the best part? There's no annual contract. So stop waiting and get your TV together with DirecTV Stream. You can learn more at DirecTV.com. That's DirecTV.com. Compatible device required. Content varies by package. Eyes I dare not meet in dreams by Sunny Maureen. Undead girls began re-entering the world of the living, emerging from refrigerators, the staring of red frown in the horrible leaves, the dead girl the staring, Joshua Beckman, the dead girl by beautiful Bernadette, at 2.20 a.m., a quiet Friday night on a deserted country road in southern east Pennsylvania. The first dead girl climbed out of a refrigerator. So the story goes. We never saw the refrigerators. Eventually we gathered that they were, they were everywhere. We never actually saw them until the dead girl started climbing out of them. Holes in reality, some people say. In dimensional portals. Real Star Trek shit. There's a tear between their parallel universes. Something falls through, the next thing you know, there's a refrigerator in the middle of the road, or the sidewalk, or someone's lawn, or a football field, and the bottom of a dry swimming pool, or on the seventh floor balcony of a five-star hotel, or the steps of a museum, basically anywhere. Later watching a shaky video taken on somebody's woman's phone, refrigerator on a long straight line of train tracks, train on the night time, lights binding, a blare thing sends the sound to angry buzz, a distortion, the fridge just lying there inside like a coffin. Didn't even tell what it is, said it's a box or something like that. It opens, kicks, out climbs a broken doll girl, high, stringy, wet, red, rolling to one side. Can't see her face. Don't need to see her face and know she's fucking terrifying. The train, is, however, looks terrified. That physics is a thing even now. It can't stop. She stands there, broken doll, head on a broken doll neck. Having the heavy buzz, you hear someone is screaming, Holy fucking shit, holy shit, holy shit. Even filmed a shitty cell phone with train derailed by dead girl is quite a thing to see. Okay, this official story goes, the first dead girl stood on that deserted country road on that quiet Friday night for sky. Some time, she stood motionless, listening to the pitter pat sound, of her own blood dripping into the backdrop, blacktop, not listening for a heartbeat, which was not there, nor for breathing, which was not there either. either. She was listening to other things: wind, leaves, owls, fox screams, sighing of distant cars. It was a sunny, quiet night. That's the story. The story goes that dead girl palmed blood out of her eyes and looked down at her sticky fingers, as if considering them carefully, their context and their implications, in the slick underlying of or that was still flowing out of her. Like some inside her was a blood reservoir, which would take thousands of years to run dry. I she was a thing made only to bleed. The story also goes that at one point, after studying the fact of her blood to her own set of satisfaction, the dead girl dropped her hands to her sides and started to walk. He never have, would have believed before the dead girl started climbing out of the refrigerator that people could be literally 
Greek was frightened by sheer indignation. Probably would, should have been obvious. People have been brought back to life by far more ludicrous means and for far more ludicrous reasons. Sorry, it also goes that no one saw the first of their kills. So it goes that when they came out, they came quietly, unannounced, no particular fanfare. They girls did not then demand witnesses. They wasn't interested in that. They wanted something else. They the dead girls were merging elsewhere, everywhere. But the night, the first dead girls climbed out of the dark, out of the shadows, out of the lost places, the hidden places, the places of abandonment, out of the places in which one discards all the useless refrigerators, out of the places in which one discards things which have served their purpose and are no longer needed. The dead girls climbed into the light in the dump yards, vacant lots in a jumble of shit behind ancient disreputable institutions. By motif by Pearl Nidorlek, begins of a girl in the water, by stilt-legged home right. The dead girls climbed in the light of the junkyards and vacant lots and jumbled shit behind ancient, disreputable institutions. One might kind of call antique stores. Dead girls climbed out of ravines and ditches and lonely beaches and in dry riverbeds, wet riverbeds. Dead girls climbed in the feet and fathoms of well water. The dead girls climbed in the air, but they also clawed their way out of the long, depressed sediment and new mud. Like clowns, zombies and vampires tearing their way out of the graves. The dead girls swam, swam as far as they needed to, and broke the surface like broken doll mermaids. This is how the story goes. The story also goes that no one ever was, was present at the time. First days, no one is there totally sure as the girls got there at all. The first day, it got, had to go Got to be something everyone would set as truth, which they do. First, he is a an end interview with a dead girl. She's young, small, blonde. Before she was a dead girl, she was definitely pretty, and she's still pretty, but in a way only dead girls are. She's a dead kind of pretty with pearls instead of tracks. But pretty like the griefs. You have a distinct impression it hates you. Therefore you stand for dangerous pretty. Not the in the kind, dangerous pretty that exists only, only to make itself less dangerous. Dangerous pretty like a Korean goddess. You've seen the pretty picking over battlefields and pursuing traitors cross continents. you see seen the pretty getting ready to fuck your shit up. Small, young blood, pretty young dead girl. Broke a doll, she stands facing the camera, her head tilted slightly to one side, her face is cut. No, not badly. Neat little hole in her brow. At the back of her head, a bloody crusted mess. It's fast that she, what made this girl, this dead girl, is a dead girl. But it wasn't pretty. But she is. Looking at the camera, it's somewhat cliche to say that someone is looking right into, into you. But that is what this is like. The eyes of dead girls are cloudy with the clay or white and the bleak or black oil sinks. The eyes of the dead girl are clear and hard like diamond bolts. They stab you, they stab you over and over slightly, slowly, carefully, very precisely. Can you t- tell us your name? The dead girl stares. Alison Cooper looks nervous. Can you tell us anything about yourself? Where did you come from? Dead girl stares. Can you tell us anything about what you're going, what's going on here today? Behind the dead girl, Nellis and Cooper. A long line of dead girls is slowly, is falling slowly out of the mid Manhattan library. It's probably 1500 refrigerators. Just came into material existence. Then the dead girl stares. Is there anything that is there anything at all you can tell us? Anything? Dead girl stares. She actually doesn't even seem to know this. There's a camera. There is Alison Cooper. She's been asked questions. 
You're not she's on the heaviest side of the thing. Are you into anything? You're not a zombie. Look into those diamond points there and you see the most terrifying kind of intelligence possible. Turn into someone who understands what's happened. Today, I want to tell you about a simple way to get all the entertainment you love without the hassle. DirecTV Stream brings your live TV and on-demand favorites together like never before, which means you can watch your favorite sports, movies, and shows all in one place. And the best part? There's no annual contract. So stop waiting and get your TV together with DirecTV Stream. You can learn more at DirecTV.com. That's DirecTV.com. Compatible device required. Content varies by package. Understands what is done to them. Understands everything perfectly. And they're perfectly like a king. On the edge of the razor blade, she's aware. She has to measure. Doesn't measure it because she, of her, to her, it's a worthwhile way. She doesn't care. Can you tell her what you want? The dead girl smiles. A didn't want, seemed to want, at least initially, was to hurt people. Train, fiend, freak, everyone. And it hit, but later, as far as anyone was able to determine it, hadn't been done with any particular malice intent. Mostly because the only other times anything like that happened with times where dead girl needed to act fast in order to act, keep from being, well, dead again. Dead girls wreaked over when they felt like someone or something was coming at them. So don't come at a dead girl. Early lesson learned quickly. Dead girls have itchy trigger fingers. They hit back hard. You shouldn't need to ask, but reasons for, for, but reason for about that. Apparently like this, people struggle to find a name for it. The appearing, the coming, the materializations, all proper nouns, all vaguely religious in nature. Because how else was this going to go? When they mean something, we might bring it under the control, or we think we do. All those stories about summoning and binding medical, medical creatures by their names. And something like this remains naming, resists naming. But because of how big it is, not because of the sense of some profound and fundamental order, being altered, something somewhere being turned upside down. Most biggest elements of the story, we told ourselves about everything. A lot of them no longer apply. A bunch of dead girls got together, so they didn't break some rules with their own dead bodies. So the mediums of all the media look, looked at this thing, whatever the fuck it was, and they tried to attach names to it. Dead girls on the street, just standing, watching people, dead girls in the bar, and set on a place, silent dead girls on the bus, on the train, never pay the fare, dead girls at ball games, just standing there in front of the places, selling overweight hot dogs and bad beer, heads slightly cocked, looking at things, none of them have tickets, dead girls at movies, at the f- opera, dead girls drifting through art galleries and libraries. Very all in all, a mass migration of dead girls to the lane. Not altogether, but in by a variety of transformation mean methods. Flu, again, trains. Some went by bus, some took cars. Took them because, again, you don't go up against a dead girl. Some, as near as anyone was able to tell, just walked. Steady, inevitable. The news covered it. Because the dead girls was always, was still always news in those days, while even news made up a, a wildly diverse collection of media, all Asians usually adopts a specific tone for something and sticks to it. Tonist coverage was profoundly confused. Watching dead girls starting, standing in the aisle of a jumbo jet, refusing to be seated, Daring, interrupting the progress of really carts, access to the tall end restrooms, uh, access to tall end restrooms. This specific dead girl is missing half her face. Blood oozes from the gaping horror. Play tenders don't look directly at her, and one of them gets the PA and apologizes in slightly shaking voice. There is no beverage service on this flight. Cut to the ground below. Twenty-four dead girls have run into a bike again, cultivated their vehicles, they roar down the red desert road. In this formation, hair and all colours and legs pull by their hands of the wind. They're beautiful, all those dead girls. All these dead girls, they're gorgeous, they take whatever name anyone tries to give this. 
They hurl it off their tracks like that train. You get a sense they're pretty sick of this shit. That's the thing, actually. There are sexual girls with horrific, traumatic injuries. Girls missing limbs. Girls who clearly burnt alive. Burnt alive. A lot of these last. But for the most part, the flesh of dead girls tends to be undamaged except for small evidences. What did they mean? There's always something about these things which is oddly delicate, tasteful, aesthetically pleasing. The royal dead girls tend to leave pretty corpses. Dead girls outside movie studios and the headquarters of the TV networks house the well-known writers assembled. In matter of masses, broken dolls with their heads cocked to one side, staring at people who are unable to leave their homes. This is how it was. Priority is constant, even though nothing changed. People started throwing words around like zombie apocalypse, but no one got chopped out or chopped on. The dead girls didn't want the flesh of living. In, initially, get people try, police tried to clear them out. The National Guard carriages were heavy. One of them, a girl with long, lovely brown hair, got ready for blood, drew it for a tank. So people basically stopped after that. So what was this going to turn into? One of those old horror films about giant, giant radioactive ants? Who more contemporary ones about giant robots and sea monsters? Maybe one they really did go quite that far. Maybe look into their eyes of a dead girl. It feels like your options dry up. All you can do is be looked at. You're part of this. We were all were uh, complicit. Look at yourself with those uh, their eyes. You can't help but see that. Set on a long time frame. Everything has a half life. Even the dead. You didn't get used to something like this. It's even a matter of getting used to it. You incorporate. Dead girls everywhere, dead girls on the street, dead girls on the public transportation, staring at phones and tablets, reading over the shoulders, dead girls at Starbucks, dead girls in sitcoms. No one was ever really made to concert the effort to keep them out in movie, TV shows, a few instances, a bit of trying to catch a count isn't legible. Dead girls are law and order, not in the way that the phrase usually applies. A man was a, a whole Fuck of a lot of dead girls in law, law and order. Dead girls the latest movie, Avengers movie. Remember had it, had it dead girls surrounding Josh Weldon's house three months ago. Haven't left. Haven't even decided resisted all attempts to have them removed. Dead girls, vintage, filled on Instagram. Dead girls and twin, twin, Tumblr. Dead girls are everywhere on Tumblr. Dead girl fandom. There's a physical and celebrity aspect to it. Dead girls, Gift sets with Taylor Swift lyrics, dead girl flick, very curious revenge fantasies. They don't even have to be confined to the realm of fancy anymore. Because then, again, Joss Whedon, by MA, by no means the only one, dead girls are paid with saints as battle standards. Not everyone is afraid of dead girls. Not everyone meets that hard dead gaze and looks away. Some people meet that gaze to see something and have been waiting for their entire lives. In all these, this is a question, and this is what happens next, because incorporation, because almost everyone is uncomfortable, but this comfort phase of familiarity. After a while, even fandom tends to lose interest and wonder why, because we forget things, because the dead girls are still silent, constant witnesses. It's unsettling, but actually, it might turn out a bit easier to ignore than we thought. And that prospect is there. It whispers people consider the idea. Could only the pretty girls climb back into their refrigerators and go away? It's something that could happen. Seems vanishingly and lightly. Some of everyone is still more than a royal freaked out. But it's an idea. It started to float around. We get used to a lot of, to it a lot. It happened for, Dirty Country Road in southern west eastern Pennsylvania. Dirty except for a dead girl. Well, at night, silent night. Except for a blunt Peter pattering softly into the pavement, palming it out of her eyes, staring at her slick, sticky fingers, dropping her hand limp to her side. 
Dead girl stands motionless, looking at nothing. There's nothing to consider, nothing to do. The entire world's a stacked deck. The only cards she can play that she's dead. That might or might not be enough. The dead girl starts to walk. Ha ha ha. Today, I want to tell you about a simple way to get all the entertainment you love without the hassle. Direct TV Stream brings your live TV and on-demand favorites together like never before, which means you can watch your favorite sports, movies, and shows all in one place. And the best part? There's no annual contract. So stop waiting and get your TV together with Direct TV Stream. You can learn more at directtv.com. That's directtv.com. Compatible device required. Content varies by package. Hi, I've got a prescription for diabetes test strips. How much is the copay? That could take me a while to calculate. In the meantime, you should think about over-the-counter Contour Next test strips. You get 35 for $19.99, and they're highly accurate. For full details, visit contournext.com radio.